God has made us the smartest creatures on earth. We have the best tool ever, and it is between our ears, our brain. We can use tools outside of our body to do all kinds of things. The only other creature I know about that can use a tool are apes. Apes are like a monkey without a tail. They use a stick and push it into a termite hill. The termites walk all over the stick, and when the ape pulls the stick out, he eats the termites walking on the stick. We are not going to do that today or any day. What I will show you are tools that humans use to do things. Let's say you need to lift something and it's kind of heavy. Oh. You can ask your parents to lift it or you can use a lever. Let me show you about levers. I take a long piece of wood put the object on the end Put something called a fulcrum, in this case it's a rolling pin, underneath. And when I push down on this end, oh, that lifts up. If I put the fulcrum someplace different, it's easier to lift up. Way over here, it's hard to lift. So way over here. Easy, easy. Does that remind you of a seesaw? On a seesaw, a seesaw is a lever. It lifts a heavy object, your friend, up into the air until your weight is balanced by your friend's weight, and then you go up into the air. The dolly I use in this video has wheels. This is not a doll, but a dolly. Sometimes it has another name. Some people call it a lift truck. The dolly in this video can move a heavy object to where I want it. I take my bucket of water, I put it on the dolly, and I go like this, and I can make the bucket go wherever I want it. So much easier than lifting it. Even a bucket is a tool, a tool, because your parents' hands cannot carry all the water they need to wash the floor with another tool, a mop. Do you use a tool to eat? Of course you do. Fork, spoon, knife. And actually, a knife is a lever for cutting your food. Okay, maybe an adult in your home wants to fix a squeaky door hinge, so uses a screw screwdriver to tighten the screws in the hinge. A screw is also a tool to hold things together. Like so. Thank you. 
You could also use a hammer and a nail. Tools to kind of fasten things together. Okay. And then the other side of the hammer will lift this out. Ah. Whoa. Tools. They are so handy. Wheels. This came off of the bottom of a chair. Chairs can roll around on wheels. So can your car, your family's car. Maybe the wheel on your bicycle is loose. Someone needs a wrench. Or a pliers to tighten it. Okay, another tool. Do you know somebody with a cell phone? That is a tool for talking to someone who is far away. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Goodbye. Maybe you are watching me on a computer right now. Electric lights are tools. I've got a battery. I've got a tiny light bulb. And I've got some wires. So, take a look, see what happens when I attach wires to the sides of the light bulb. And then attach them to the battery. Whoa, look at that! Home too, except you can plug it into the wall and you can make larger lights light up. Ha! Huh. Electricity is also a tool that we use. Perhaps an adult in your life can show you how to safely use other tools to do things. But your best tool is your brain. With your brain you can do wondrous things. Keep learning about all the wonderful things that you can do and thank God for this gift.